Hey, welcome back. I'm here with Erkan Mete. We're Gracie Schwartzwald, and we're continuing on with our complete Gracie Jiu Jitsu self defense course, and we're working on takedowns. In the last course, we worked this position where we moved from the modified seat belt up to the high clinch from the side here. Again, the details I've got my palm down. I'm driving that wrist bone into his neck. I'm trying to touch my own forehead. My other hand is over the top, no thumb. My elbow is down his back. I'm pressing in. And the last one, let's turn this way. We worked the bump and take him down this way. Okay. Which takedown do we do? The one the opponent gives you. The one he gives us, right? So you notice in this situation, he's being fairly upright and I'm able to break his posture down this way. If he's a little bit more forward or when I go to bump, he steps outside my leg, this is gonna be a hard takedown to do. Now, obviously, I can switch to many other takedowns. From there, he steps behind, I can switch to takedowns, but I don't wanna release my grip, okay? This is a very simple takedown, um, and one I like, I, you know we really like the upper body takedowns because I don't have to lose control of you where you can start punching me. Okay, so from this one, all I'm gonna do is, when he maybe either bends over or he steps behind my leg especially, because I was going for that other one, I just wanna pull his head to my chest. So I'm gonna keep it a little bit loose so um, we don't stuff, uh, crush the mic. I'm just gonna pull him to my chest here. Okay, so instead of pulling down with this arm, I'm pulling my elbow to my body. And then I simply rotate me. Okay, so it's very important. A lot of the takedowns I talk about are spiral takedowns. So I'm simply gonna open my door. Notice when I do this. If I don't do this, I fall over my own leg. So I'm gonna pull him into me, open my door, and just bow. Very much like running the pipe on a single leg, which you'll see later. So I'm here, I pull, I pull him to my chest. I'm just gonna step back, rotate him down. Okay. I want to pull him, this shoulder tight to me, to put the weight on that leg here, okay? So I don't wanna to move to the side like this where he can just keep walking with me. So I pull him tight, and even if he can step, he's not gonna be able to step as fast as me. So as I step back, we're here. So let's try on this side. We come in, I'm here. I slide up, maybe I tried for that one. I pull him tight, I step back. We're into our takedown. These you should look at as sisters, right? So I go for this one, he steps out. I start to go for this one, he steps back in front and postures up. I go this way, he steps out, bends forward. Here, okay. And I never let go of that same hold, okay? So really good sister to the last move. And uh, as simple as it is, it's a very powerful takedown. You've really got to squeeze, pull, and move your body. Don't try to take somebody down when they're stable. I want to be moving them around to take them down. Okay? And that is our uh, high offset uh, neck clinch forward pull down.